I lived in New Zealand for many years and have known Anne Kennedy's work for a long time, primarily uh, that her work is a poet, and she's a terrific poet. But most recently, she's published a fantastic novel, a very charming novel, called The Last Days of National Costume. The novel takes place in Auckland in 1988 when there was a famous blackout and tells the story of Gogo Sligo, which is a fantastic name. Gogo is slumming it and she's working as a seamstress. And one of her charms is that she's able to get stories out of people. So during this blackout, a lover, a wife, and the cheating husband come to this little seamstress shop and ask for the national costume. It's an Irish costume from Belfast, which she's repairing. Now, curious as can be, Gogo manages to convince the cheating husband to keep returning. She says, of course, she hasn't finished the job until she gets the entire story. This is just a gorgeous novel. It is huge fun. It is got all of the great little uh, tricks of gossip and story and how you tell stories. The other thing it does, especially for me, is it paints a really rich portrait of Auckland. I never lived in Auckland, but I see it there in really vivid and wonderful ways. It is a terrific novel, and it would be absolutely at the top of my list of the summer's beach reads.